think again. So I'm training. Um, Monday I walked 16, 16 kilometers. Yesterday I did 22. Today I'm again. Because my body has to get used to um, walking many kilometers a day. So let's go. I already wanted to thank all of you already helping me, giving me tips, supporting me also in the financial way because I mean, you know that I'm talking about you. Thank you. Um, if you didn't see my video, I will walk more than 300 kilometers the Polish coast line the first three weeks of December. And um, so I already have a first place to stay the first night already in is it Puchk or Puk? No Puchk, right? Um, and also probably already uh, a beach cottage somewhere on the way. Um, yeah, every help is um, like very appreciated by me. Um, yeah, special thank you to everyone who's like supporting me in any kind of way. I really appreciate it. And I will share all the preparations as well because I'm thinking about more things I can do with live videos, live streams and stuff like that. So some little extra things. I'm now going to the bookstore because I want to look for one book and I will tell you about it later. <laughs> Something really inspiring. Because there's a Polish man and he, well, it's very inspiring for me because he was born in 1897 and um, his name was Kazimierz Nowak and he, well, <laughs> he traveled 40,000 kilometers through Africa by bike, by horse and by foot, I think, and by boat, um, alone. And he made a lot of photo um, photography and just captured everything beautifully. And he, before that, he also did cycling tours through all of Europe. And even he went through the Netherlands on one of his trips. So he moved to Poznan after World War I and then he worked at a company, but then he also uh, decided to follow his passions of traveling and being a photographer. So he did those cycling through tours through Poland, through Europe, and then one day he reached north, the north of Africa, but there was like a war and he also had like health problems, so he had to go back to Poland. But he decided that one day he would cross all of Africa from north to south. So that's what he did. And it's amazing. It's an amazing story. And he has some books, so I will see if I can find them in the in the bookstore. So he was on a very unusual journey, especially for that time. Can you imagine walking for that long, like traveling for that long on your own, like so many kilometers? <laughs> In, an, um, in a continent that was like unexplored. <sighs> Insane how he did it. Insane. So there are a few books about him. Also one with letters to his wife because he left his wife and his kids in Poland of course. So then he wrote them letters. That does remind me a bit of my grandpa because my grandpa was a sailor. So he left his wife and kids also um, at home for, for a long time. So my mom grew up without her dad being around. And he also wrote a lot of letters to his wife. And it's a really sad story because she got sick and she died when my mom was 10. Well, he, well my grandpa was on sea. So. Um, and I lost my grandpa when I was eight. He was 61 when he died. Um, 
I have goosebumps right now when I tell you this, but maybe that's also why I'm attracted to first go to the seaside because my grandpa was a sailor and I had a really strong connection with him, although I was oh, only eight years old. Uh, Casimir Nowak had a deep sense for humanity and also deep respect for nature, so he captured like the places he went to like really beautifully. Um, and I'm not comparing myself to him because I mean, what he did is out of this world. Um, because I'm, I am also living in a whole different time zone right now. Like there are so many things possible right now, and um, I'm so blessed that I can share this with you on such a high scale, like on YouTube worldwide with people worldwide. Just I can reach the whole world with my journey and that's what I want, that's my intention as well, that I can show beautiful raw Poland through my eyes and just with that deep sense for humanity hum humanity and nature and just everything that I feel so deeply with the world and just show, show it to the world, share inspiring stories, meet inspiring people, just connect, you know, deeply connect with the world and um but I will be that <laughs> kind of crazy Dutch young lady who will walk the coastline in December, the Polish coastline with the Baltic Sea. <laughs> and after that I will I want to just walk through all of Poland and maybe also do some more um, in Europe or something. But that's like long long term planning. I I'm now focusing on Poland. And Poland will always be my home, that's that's for sure. Whenever I'm able to, I will move here officially, buy in my house and then also I have a lot of plans for that already in my mind, <laughs> but that's for later. Found this one. I think this is it. Okay, it's about him. <laughs> Genius. Yes. I literally wanted to tell you that I couldn't find the books about Kashmir Novak. <laughs> and I showed you the map and then my eye fell on a book. That was the children's book about him. Genius. <laughs> oh, and my sister messaged me this morning. <laughs> my niece Isa was writing a book like so Tante Nienke, so Auntie Nienke, I'm also writing a book and she sent a photo, <sighs> the best.